Now, this is not a new topic. SFI was launched, oh, I suppose it must be close to two years ago, but at least a year ago. Uh, and for those that don't know, it's basically uh, Microsoft's pivoting to that security first piece. So security by design, security by default. So every service that they, they release is going to have a security at, it, at its heart. And the way they started to deploy this was almost entirely sort of internally and behind the scenes within within the services. So you saw things like administrator accounts had to have some sort of MFA when you're logging in. There's, you didn't have a choice anymore about, about doing that. And they also did some other things like um, for those that use the CDX tenants or the customer experience and tenancies, you used to be able to have those for a year and renew them. And they basically changed all that. And you can only have them now for 90 days and then they're dead at the end of it. So so quite a wide ranging sort of approach around security from, an, from a service or an internal perspective. So what they've done now is earlier on this month or possibly end of July, I'm going to have to check the date. Um, and they've launched a series of patterns and practices that are aimed at the consumers of those services, which I think is a really good sort of next step around making the SFI initiative, not just a, an internal Microsoft thing. It's something that, that everybody can can cover off. Start off fairly light. I think there's something like eight or nine patterns that range across from sort of, I think uh, networking is mentioned in there, David, as well. So that there's a there's yeah. a pattern, I think, in there for some networking components. Data protection, AI, identity, because they are trying to make identity the sort of core pillar for the Secure Futures Initiative. So there's some patterns around my favorite security feature, conditional access, um, as an example. So it's worth having a look. And this is not, I think, for security professionals. And I think that's something that sort of People see the word security and it goes, oh, yeah, that's the cyber team or that's going to be the CISO. Actually, no, this is something that I think anybody that's looking to either deploy workloads into Azure and whether that's AI workloads, whether that's traditional sort of data center extension type workloads, as we talked about earlier on today, these patterns and practices should be something that you should look at and, and apply as and when is, is necessary. I am very short and sharp on this one. And as I said, that there's a number of patterns that are out there. I'll put the link into the show notes and on the screen here, just so you can go and check it out. 